So Helen, can you tell us a little bit about your experiences with moon gardening and using a moon calendar? Yeah, sure. My, my mum gave me a, a great love of gardening and I grew up with that. Not that we had a very big or fancy garden, but I, I had that passion for gardening. Now, all through my life I've kept that. Um, I haven't always had the opportunity to use it and I've, I've sometimes lived in a unit where I've had nothing but a few pots. But when I got to a house and I had a garden, I was absolutely thrilled. I knew nothing about moon gardening at that point, and I had a lot of successes and a lot of failures. When I learned about the moon garden, uh, moon gardening, I was absolutely thrilled to find that there is something that you can depend upon that actually helps you with whatever you're sowing, whether it's seeds or seedlings. Um, I have to say that I ridiculed it at first. I thought it was quite silly nonsense but I proved it to myself I had bought some uh, continental parsley seedlings and I'd put them in I prepared the garden the ground really well and they all went to seed the whole lot of them I was really cranky and then I suddenly remembered okay the moon calendar let me go and check this out and I worked back to when I would planted them I had not done it by the moon the right, correct phase of the moon so I went and bought some more. I put them into exactly the same place in the garden without doing anything else to the soil. And lo and behold, they were fantastic. They came up really quickly, they grew really well, and I had a wonderful crop. So that proved to me that the moon calendar is a very, very useful tool for the gardening. I know that over the years, sometimes, I mean, I've probably been doing this for probably five years, but I haven't always followed the moon calendar because I've sort of forgotten. Oh, I didn't do that right. Doesn't mean that the plants didn't grow, but I know that if I do follow the phases of the moon, I've given the plants the best chance of getting going because it, it's, like, it's like being told that, that the, the, the world is round when for years you believed it was flat. And suddenly it's proved to you that, yeah, it's actually round. Well, it's like gardening by, by the moon calendar. Yeah, okay, it's nonsense. But when it's proven to you that the moon's um, magnetic effect, like it is on the tides, when that's proved to you to be true and you can see the proof for yourself, you think, oh, now I've found something. This is wonderful. I'm no longer, no longer a flat earth believer. I can believe in gardening that has something that all of nature works together so that it, the, all that the sap, the fluids, the, all that moisture in the ground produces something that is going to be wonderful for you. And I mostly grow vegetables, herbs, mostly herbs probably, and, and some flowers, but not, that, not too many. But whatever I grow, I make sure now that I follow the moon calendar. Now, my husband and I have just recently moved into a retirement village. Some of the ladies there, well, one fellow and a few ladies do a little bit of vegetable gardening. And I told them about the moon calendar and how helpful it is. Well, I had some interesting responses. One lady still to this day teases me about how, you know, look at that, not doing too well, you didn't follow the moon, did you? That sort of a thing. But others are sort of a little bit sceptical but aren't really con concerned about it. And others think it's really wonderful. This is, you know... And so I've said to them, you must get hold of the moon calendar and I'll let, I'll let you see mine. All you've got to do is to follow the phases of the moon and that gives you that basic start off, the best start off for your little gardens. And so that's my life now is following the moon for my gardening. <laughs>